I didn't I didn't end my relationship with this my ex because I had someone else. Mm -hmm. I didn't end the relationship because he did something. We actually was at a good place in okay. terms of like not cheating and being faithful, things of that nature, but I was not being fulfilled. Okay. I was not being fulfilled. I needed a level of support that he honest to god could not do could not he do. was focusing on himself which he should be yes i'm not mad at him i have no it's no hard feelings like mm -hmm. he was building up his empire and to be the man that he wanted to be but y'all couldn't build that together we could have but he wasn't at the space to do that. okay we could have but that would have looked like me waiting a few more months a okay. few under maybe another year or two i didn't okay. have that time i waited a long time and you love languages are important and i don't i know we're getting into a lot of different topics on the on this episode, no this is great but, this is great go with the love but languages. but i my love language is quality time right too. quality time <laughs> my first one is physical touch and this is all it is i don't know i like to hold hands i, I don't know i like to hold hands I like to cuddle that's what i like um but beyond my love language i have a personality language mm -hmm. i'm someone who likes to be outside i love people I love people. I love being around people. I love meeting people. I love having conversations with people. And that's how I yes. learned. I studied sociology in school. It's it's literally in my bones. Yes. He was a home person. He hated people. He did not <laughs> like people. He did not want to be around people. So day night to him was our cooks. We're gonna watch a movie in the house. Here we are, date night. Mm -hmm. Great. That was for him. Yeah. And I did it. But there was no middle ground. There wasn't like, hey, we do one date night in the house, one date night outside. We go to the hotel. We do this. Like, I, I it was great. Don't get me wrong. I did yeah. it, but it wasn't it enough. Was, yes, and it wasn't, it wasn't making you happy. No, it wasn't enough. And it got to the point where I was that person. I was that, oh, the dopamine mm -hmm. that you were saying. Like, oh, he did he did this? <gasps> so I'll get one yeah. outside date night. I'm like, oh, my God, he's changing. Oh, my God, he's changing. Oh my god, he did oh. this! And it was so exciting for mm -hmm. me. But then I would get another outside date night for a month and a half. And I'm like, okay. Right? And you're sitting there waiting. And I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And he does it. I'm like, oh! Yeah. And that was it. So what he he was so used to him doing just a little bit more and me reacting so greatly okay. to it that he didn't have to hear my mouth anymore. Now okay. I'm not complaining, I'm not arguing, I'm not saying anything. Um, and I realized what I was doing to create this pattern. Okay. Because if I kept getting so excited when he did those little things, yes. he's never going to drastically change. No. So what began to happen was, and I feel a little bad sometimes because it was, I became really, really bitchy and really, really mean to him. Yeah. So he would do a little bit and I'd be like, mm, okay, thanks. Yeah. That was the like, Okay. Because my thing was, you're supposed to be doing these things. Yeah. I'm not going to give you all this credit. For you doing for the being a good, yeah, for being a good boyfriend. That you, that you're supposed, supposed to come to, out, yes. You're supposed to show up. You're supposed to do these things. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, ladies, we get to a space where it's like, we give men credit for doing this bare fucking minimum. Oh my God, you breathe so well. Great job. Yeah, no. Like, no. No. And I can say that now wholeheartedly because my boyfriend goes above and beyond yeah. to make me happy. Like, I'm not saying you have to spend money to make me happy. It's little things. It's so things. what I'm hearing you say, summarizing what you yeah. said. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. It's okay. Do not wait around. Do not try to continuously teach someone your love language because the right person will come into your life and, and they, they will know. do all the above and beyond. Yes. If you are not happy, if they're not providing you what you want, simply, you know, it's hard. It's much it's much easier said than done. Like walk it away. Is. But it, but you have to choose yourself first. You are the person you love the most. Yes. And I'm here to tell you I love myself the most. Yes. I'm a little conceited and I'm okay with that. That's but right. I love myself the most anything a after that is extra and i'm yes. gonna receive it because yes. you give the love you you deserve the love you give and that is my mantra and i believe it god i'm waiting you I'm deserve love you waiting. give you absolutely i'm waiting because i'm tired um, of giving so i chose myself and yes. that's really what it was it wasn't that i didn't love him mm -hmm. it wasn't that i didn't want to be with him it was i chose me above yes. that 
And if this person wasn't showing up for me the way I needed it and they weren't supporting me the way I needed it and just being by my side mm -hmm. and come and so and and praising me for my for my accomplishments. Yeah. Why are you here? Yeah. You go focus on what you need to focus on. And mm -hmm. I'm not gonna take it no, I'm not gonna take it personal. I'm yeah. not. I'm not gonna feel no kind of way. I'd rather do it this way than we have a big fallout. Of course. That's so what I'm saying. Like I don't it wasn't bad. And I don't want it to be where people get to the norm of while well, you with me for 16 years and y'all break up you don't talk that's unrealistic you spent a lot of time with somebody and now you don't want to speak to them mm -hmm. that doesn't make any sense no, to doesn't. me and they make me feel like well maybe that love wasn't real mm -hmm. love doesn't love is beautiful and honest and it doesn't teach you and you to emphasize be mean. the word honest love is honest no say it one honest. more time you just say it one more time love is honest it's honesty god like it's, just you oof it's saying it's saying like and it's not linear, and it's not one thing, and it's not, no. and it doesn't have to be sexual. You can no. love someone, friendship. It, it doesn't have to be. But I'm just saying, like no, we, no, we, we often group love and sex and relationships and all these things. Like you can honestly love someone and never touch them mm -hmm. because you love their spirit, you love their yes. soul, and you love the conversation. I think that is important though to set boundaries. If, the, if you get up from this conversation today, set boundaries. Be intentional about what you want, what you're mm -hmm. looking for. Know what you want and voice that. And if they cannot give that to you, then that's okay. Yeah. And it's okay to walk away. It's okay. Yes. It's okay to not be to be uncomfortable. Shake it up. Be be comfortable in the discomfort. Nothing grows. Nothing. I'm here to tell you, nothing grows in comfort. No. When pots, when plants are too compacted, they don't grow. You have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yes. I'd rather stay in the known hells than in the unknown heavens. Because this is what we know. Even if you're burning up, you'd rather stay because this is all you know. But I'm telling you, do not carry dead weight. No. Do, in situations, in relationships, in friendships, in your jobs, with yourself, always push yourself out of your comfort zone. Listen, ladies, you know those big bags we carry? You know, I have a big bag. Yo, we have huge. A whole bunch you of have shit in your it. whole house in one bag. Let the big bag go. Yes. Let it go. You do not have to pack all of that stuff. Let it go. And I'm using that as an analogy. Like, you do not have to carry all of the things in life with you at all times. At work and you're not comfortable, you're uncomfortable with work, there's other jobs. Yes. Let me tell you why, because if you die today or tomorrow, that job will put up your job placement and find somebody else. Yes. You. That have, person will move on. Yes. Those friends, you'll find more friends. Yes. Better friends. At that. Hey, to be scared. It but is. don't let the fear hinder you. No. Don't stay somewhere where you're unhappy, where you're miserable, where you're not growing. We'll get through it. You will get over it. Again, if they're not providing for you. And provide, providing, like the other side, is not always financial. No. It's not the kink and me gifts. It's if you're not being fed in any way, in more ways than you're being unfed, if you are pouring more out than you're getting poured into, it's killing you. Yes. And we don't want you to die, so. You have been growing, right? You have yes. been growing, you have been changing, you have been facing your fears, you created this podcast and this video, this yes. vlog. How has starting this journey made you feel less comfortable and more willing to face these changes? So like I said before, I was always the person who I hated change. I hate inconsistency. But I started to notice how much more powerful I became out of uncomfortable situations. Mm -hmm. And I always believed all the limits that I put on myself. So I would always say, I can't, I can't do public speaking. Here I am, like I'm doing this. I've also learned to love myself. And that would be my next video. But I've learned to appreciate myself more because I've challenged myself. I've seen myself going through the pain and enjoying that pain. And okay. seeing like... Where you start is not where you end up. And it should not be. And listen, you're going to be scared of whatever it is. Starting a new job, starting a new relationship. It doesn't matter. There's like, if you don't ever try it, that's my thing. I don't ever want to regret something that I didn't do. So I've been pushing myself in all aspects of my life. And I think this is a good space to be in your 20s. Mm -hmm. Right? This is a good space because it's it's telling you, like, you're creating this level of fearlessness mm -hmm. in you that's like, whoa, watch out. However, I want it to be where I'm so fearless, I don't need anybody. Mm -hmm. So you got to find that balance. That often happens too, where you get to the space where you don't need anybody because you can do everything for yourself, right? And then you don't allow people in. Well, you need that connection. I feel like we all thrive off connections. But what I'm more careful with 
of is who I let in. Before, I would let anybody in. Okay, yeah, no. Anybody could take up a space in my life. Hell no, listen. Even at the most basic shit, for my friendships, for my situations, my relationships, whatever. What? Are, how are you helping me? Are you going to help me grow? Because if not, I don't want you in my life. Because I Why refuse. Not? You shouldn't. I refuse. I, I was stagnant with my life. And I refuse to ever get back to that space. Now, if I don't see anything that you're contributing positive to my life, that's it. Like, it's over. So in that, yo, I love the change that I've made. Like, I love the growth. I love it all. I'm embracing it. We you know, here. I don't deserve everything you want. Yes. Manifest the life you yes. want and you deserve it. Do not run from it. Do not scare from it. Sitting with the pain and the discomfort and the, dis and the comfort and all of this. But don't let the comfort engulf you. No. You can't. Because you do not grow there. You do not learn how to love yourself there. You cannot learn to love others from there. You cannot learn how to be happy because you're just stagnant. And I'm sorry, but if you don't know what you want, if you don't know what you want, if you can't pray for what you want, if you can't be detailed for what you want, you don't deserve it. Oh, say what? <laughs> Listen, I learned that the hard way. You don't deserve Yes. If you can't yes. ask for what you want, if you can't manifest what you want, if you can't detailly pray to the Lord, and granted, God knows our innermost thoughts and feelings yeah. and wants and desires and i'm believing a gracious god so i know that you will eventually get there yes but this level of prayer and manifestation that has to happen and if you can't say that to god and to the universe and say this is what i want and know what you and want and believe you deserve it you, you don't. don't you don't you don't so take from this what you will and i hope that this is going to empower you to write it down yes it's like prayer May look, may look different for me and Josie Ellie. Writing something in our journal may look different for me and Josie Ellie. And it may look really different for you. However, write it down. Say it out loud. And, and you, no, but you have to believe that yes. you deserve more. You have to believe that you are going to get more. You put it out there and that's where you, you will not settle. You will not get less. Yes. Don't allow the fear of what's next to keep you from moving on. That's what I got. Okay. Don't allow the fear of what's next to keep you from moving on. Nothing is going to be taken from you without being replaced with something better and bigger. And that's what I got. But back to your point, you have to know what you want. You have to know that you deserve that. And that's when you'll get it. Yes. Okay.